In December 1993, champions Manchester United welcomed Norwich City to Old Trafford. Norwich were one of these sides who'd pushed them all the way to that first Premier League title earlier in the year. And being champions really did suit United, who were undefeated in 29 matches. By now, they were 14 points clear at the top. With Roy Keane and Brian Robson both injured, Brian McClare partnered Paul Ince in the centre of midfield. Fit again, Lee Sharp had to be content with the place on the bench, as Ryan Giggs appeared to be making the left wing slot his own. It was Peter Schmeichel's 100th appearance in United's goal. Norwich, with only one win in nine matches, were without Ethan Ikoku and Mark Robbins up front, so Lee Power paired up with Chris Sutton. Jeremy Goss, another goal threat, lurked behind. First against seventh here, your commentator, Peter Brackley. A real air of expectancy as Norwich City kick off, attacking the goal to our left in the yellow tops and green shorts. United, of course, in their famous red and white. A cold afternoon in England's northwest with Norwich hoping to succeed on the ground where their pursuit of last season's title began to waver, really. They were nine points clear of United before a 1-0 defeat here. And, of course, United went on from there to clinch their first league championship since 1967. This is Chris Sutton. Touched off by Goss. And the shot driven through by Bowen. And well wide of Peter Schmeichel's goal. Header on was from Katana, the French international. Crunching tackle then by Ince. Here's Goss, playing so well in the heart of the midfield for Norwich. Fox. Now, Maxim, back at the Norwich side today. And Norwich will be looking to his experience to guide them through. Fox. Played off then by Goss. Here's Maxim again. They were certainly missing his crook in midfield, Norwich. Maxim coming in to take over his role. This is Goss now. Well, he had the confidence center strike for goal, Jeremy Goss, as he has done with great success so far this season. Six goals so far, including, of course, three in the UEFA Cup. I don't think Alex Ferguson, though, will be too happy with what he's seen so far of his team. Steve Bruce, the United captain. Cantona. Way by Bowen. Bowen underneath it, though, for United. Gets Hughes. There's not a batting ram up front. So belligerent Hughes, and he's made the run now for Cantona's pass. Picked on the Giggs. Well, the crowd enjoy that flowing move in by United. Not the finish, though, by Giggs. Who rather snatched at his shot then as Hughes flicked it on. Parker. Spotted the run then of Katana. Hughes in the middle, just too long for him. And Newman steers it away for the corner. The menace of Katana again to the fore for Manchester United. He's been an absolute revelation for them, Katana. And so, of course, is this young man, Ryan Giggs. Bruce at Palastro have come up from the back. Two Norwich players going for the same ball. Back off Sutton into the path of Kachowskis, the Ukrainian. Away by Fox to Goss. Norwich, who haven't won in their last four games now. And they've lost three of those as well. Sutton underneath this one. In goes Parker firmly. Mexico now wins it back for Norwich. Good running by Power. Now, as he got away from Pallister, Bowen with the cross in. Schmeichel thought about coming for it, and Sutton's won it in the air. And that's the real danger that he poses to Manchester United. Now then for Ince. Yeah. 
United who've lost only two matches this season, one in the Premier, one in the Coca-Cola Cup. Back to Stoke City. But of course they came safely through the second leg. And are still going strong in all three competitions. Oh, which Michael's in trouble here. There was no foul. Sutton steers it in. And off the line by Irwin. What on earth was Peter Schmeichel doing there? And Sutton so nearly capitalised on the fumbling of Schmeichel. He got himself in a terrible tangle. And it was off the line by the Irish international Dennis Irwin. His blush is spared then Schmeichel by the awareness of Irwin. Almost another chance coming Norwich's way. Now it might. Eventually out by Irwin for the corner. It was Butterworth who had the final shot charged down. Good spell this for Norwich. They may be under strength today, but they certainly won't forsake their principles. They'll play in the same attacking vein. Fox with the corner, out by Ince. Fox again. Newman was in the middle, so too was Power. And what a save then by Schmeichel. Well, he's redeemed himself now. Good effort though by Power, who started the match at Oldham last week, but otherwise hasn't featured in the first team all season. It's Mexican for Norwich. Their confidence beginning to grow now. Sutt threading it on delightfully then towards Power. Irwin's challenge. The referee had a good long hard look but saw nothing wrong. And there was no flag either from the linesman over on the far side as Lee Powell went down. Certainly collided then with Irwin and Schmeichel, the bulky thicker of Schmeichel. Sutton's lurking in the middle, so is Power. Newman with a chance to cross it in towards Goss. Pallister underneath it. Newman again to Mexen. Started very brightly, Gary Mexen. All mistake by Pallister. He's given it straight to Power. In goes Sutton. And what a vital challenge then by Paul Parker. He certainly rescued his team. After Pallister's mistake. Some sloppiness at the back from United so far. Kachaskis. The tackle though by Bowen. Here's Maxon. Sutton has made the run. Now, what can he do here? He's done extremely well. And ahead of flashing wide as Scott came carrying it. Some really enterprising play though by Norwich, in particular from Sutton down the left there. And Goss couldn't hit the target. But Norwich playing as if they really believe in themselves. Anxious to avenge their 2 0 home defeat by United back on the opening weekend of the season. Fox. Mexon. With Goss. Mexon again. Probing constantly at United's defence, Norwich. And every hint of a goal to come. Fox. Hughes tapping back at it. Working so hard. Kachowskis. Now Irwin. This is Giggs. Too easy though for Culverhouse. And he's found some. Does hold the ball up so well, Sutton, and lays it off so neatly. He's up so again, Fox. Good skill by Fox. Now, is he going to go all the way here? Oh, it was a fabulous kicking run then by a rule, Fox. Applauded by the United fans as well as those following Norwich. Mesmerising run. And the final product not that far away either. Newman.
Norwich City have United's measure thus far. Sutton. Palacelo got a foot in. This is Captain R. He spotted the run of Kachioskis. So too has Gunn. And Norwich will be mighty relieved that he got there in time. Woodthorne to Mex. Strong tackle and an unfair one by it. Butterworth, the Norwich captain. Ahead of him is Power. No foul. It's Parker. Up towards Hughes. With Katana. Kuchiaskis. That was neatly done then by the Ukrainian. It's Parker. Trying to thread it on. Katana. Hughes in the middle. Giggs arriving as well. And Giggs has scored. Well, almost a sigh of relief from Giggs as he arrived there to ease the nerves of Manchester United. They really haven't been at their best at all so far. Captain R floating it over. And there was Kicks to prod it in. And maybe that now will settle United down. They simply haven't played with their customary cohesion. And Norwich City are very unlucky to find themselves behind. Not for long, maybe. Here's Fox. Promised by Schmeichel, but driven through and a goal. 1-1 within seconds Sutton has equalised drama at Old Trafford Schmeichel denying Fox but Sutton hitting it through beyond the despairing reach of Schmeichel and suddenly the teams are back on level terms again and in fairness to Norwich deservedly so Five minutes of the first half to go. Manchester United won. Norwich won at Old Trafford. And it's Kicks. Looking to take them all on. And there was no way through there. Goss wanting support. And how hard Kicks work going to win it back for United. Ryan Giggs has just celebrated his 20th birthday and already making such an impact on the British game. Goss. It was Bruce who cleared. Now Maxon away from Katana. This is McClare. Down goes Hughes, under the weight of the challenge from Woodthorpe. United have the throw. Parker. On for Katana. That's elegantly done by Katana. Slipped on that throw. And now it's Giggs. Up for Katana. McClare! It's two! McClare has scored! Superb build up then by Manchester United. And McClare with the finish. Chipped up then by Giggs. Down by Captain R. And tucked away by Brian McClare. Hughes with Newman. Everybody appeals. The referee says it's a throw to United. Derwin. No in by McClare towards Hughes. I've already did well to control that then. Giggs. Kachowskis. No. So nearly a third then for United. Kachowskis in the six yard box. Giggs with the cross. 
After some marvellous work by Mark Hughes. McClare. The half-time whistle blown by referee Bottom. A fascinating first half. Norwich, the prominent side really early on, could have gone ahead. Kingston Sutton there, the two earlier scorers. And you certainly would not write Norwich City off at this stage. That's a measure of how well they have played in the first 45 minutes. And I'm sure their manager, Mike Walker, will be impressing that upon them in the dressing room. Half-time at Old Trafford, Manchester United 2, Norwich City 1. And back at Old Trafford, a substitution made right at the start of the second half by Norwich City. Daryl Such has come on to replace Ian Butterworth, who we gather has got a bruised foot, so some readjusting for Norwich to do. And I think they're now switching to a conventional flat back four. Ball driven through then by Giggs, a shout for Chelskis too. Daryl Such is the man who's come on. Norwich really the better side early on in the game. But then United twice taking the lead with Sutton's goal in between. Kachowskis. Plenty of early fire victory by United in the second half. Fox. My word, he was cool then. Gunn was struggling really. On by Fox. Running to by Sutton. Hounded by Pallister, the referee is flagging, and he's given the penalty. The foul by Pallister on Sutton. The penalty is given. Well, a bemused look on the face of Pallister as he challenges here with Chris Sutton, and that, says the referee, after consulting his linesman, is a penalty. Fox with the kick, and it's 2-2. What a fillet for Norwich City at the start of the second half. Well, he struck it cleanly enough, but it was in the middle of the goal. If Schmeichel had stood still, he probably would have got it. It's... Captain Ogg, delightful touch, and off goes Giggs. Hughes in the middle. Here's Hughes. An exquisite moment then from Cantona that sent Gibbs racing clear. And Hughes on the end of the cross, but couldn't turn it in. Alex Ferguson, hoping his team can regain the lead yet again. It'll push that surely by Ince, no? Referee allowing play to go on, it's Ince back in possession. To Parker. Oh, Captain R! There's no foul! And away for a corner. Captain R was in the clear, God can't believe the free kick wasn't given. Still Norwich protesting. Yellow card. I think aimed towards Brian Gunn. Two Scots together, McClare and Gunn. Captain R! Hughes almost inflicted it in. Hit first time by Captain R. Through a sea of legs. Missed kick by Maxon this time. Mike Walker's first signing, a free transfer from Manchester City. Much travel, now 34, Gary Maxon. He certainly hasn't let them down today, but it's Kachowskis in. And the header, beaten out. Captain R, denied by Gunn. And sportingly, applauding the save by the goalkeeper. What an entertainer. Hits. Owen. 
Hints again, rolling it into the path of Katana. Can she ask this? Fair pass in by Katana. Another corner, could have been more serious though. Goss away with that saving header. Yep, Kanchelskis aren't lucky. But again, such vision shown by Cantona to find him. Off the ball! Well, Leclerc, so unfortunate. Somehow managed to hook it onto the crossbar. Sutton's in the middle, oh, and a good header too. Straight into the welcome and great glance of Schmeichel. Cantona slides it onto it. Irwin for Sharp. United going for the juggler again. In by Irwin. Kachowskis won't reach it though. He needs to whack it clear. Desperate defending by Norwich. And this after Sutton had almost sneaked one at the other end. Parker. Kicks! It should have been. Well, he's holding his head and well he might. His anticipation was superb. But the finish let him down. Cantona, Calderhouse with a sliding tackle, Goss on the break, Sutton away to his left, power to his right, and it was a sloppy service really, then Irwin got caught, Bowen, my word they've kept going Norwich City, Such in by power, and clearly they haven't given up hope of winning this game Norwich, then alert taking a point. Three minutes remaining. Tremendous excitement at Old Trafford. And these two teams have given their all. Captain R. Kaczowskis reading again. Captain R. Just too long. There will be a few weary players out there now. It's been an exhausting game, played at an almost frightening pace at times. Sutton was looking there for Pallister and held him off. Not long to go now. The 90 minutes are up. On by Parker, Cantona. McLeod! So close! Well, that would just about have ground his return to the side, Brian McClare, if that one had gone in. And look how near he was to winning it then for United. Mexon, happy to pump it deep into United territory, where power is threatening. Still power. <laughs> just for a moment then, I wondered if his legs had been rushed away from underneath him. No appeal, though, in fairness for the Norwich players. Kaczewskis. Away by Edy. Back into the danger zone, it goes Captain R and Giggs. Gunt was there. We've got now two minutes of injury time. Cantona, who's been such a menacing figure for Manchester United this afternoon. But they will have to settle for the draw. And a thunderous acclaim around the ground for the performances put on by the two teams. Disappointment for United that they haven't won the game. But all credit to Norwich for their display here. Playing so well early on, only to go behind when Ryan Giggs gave United the lead. Chris Sutton equalising almost immediately. Then McClare's goal, giving United the lead again. But Rolf Fox, two minutes into the second half with a penalty 
making it 2-2 and chances certainly for both sides in the second half but that's how it finished here at Old Trafford Manchester United 2 Norwich City 2 so something of an achievement for Norwich who were only the second team to hold Manchester United at Old Trafford that season it was only a temporary blip for United though they became champions again finishing eight points clear of Blackburn Rovers Norwich to their credit finished in 12th place